Now you may be asking, why the hell is Eric all dressed up looking fancy in a suit? There's no real reason except that we're going to actually do a lens review that would be for the Nikon 40mm f2.8 DX micro lens, the AFS version. Here we go. This little thing is pretty awesome. So the main reason I really wanted to bring up this lens, as I said, I wanted, I wanted to get more into lens reviews. I'm going to start doing more Nikon, more Canon, and bringing in Sigma and stuff like that. But this lens I recently used on a wedding. I borrowed from a friend and I figured I'd reveal it because I was blown away by this really, really affordable lens. What do I mean by affordable? Well, you can basically find this 40mm f2.8. Um, this is a crop sensor lens, mind you. I'll cover all that in a second. But you can find this for under... $300, uh, $250 used, refurbished, and you can get them brand new for like $300, $315. Extremely affordable micro uh, for Nikon, uh, macro for Canon uh, lens. I use these for the ring shots. I use these for a couple of the flowers. Uh, you know, some things as the bride was walking up, details on the dress. This thing really, really worked wonders in a pinch when I was in a tough situation when I did not, uh, was not able to have my full frame lens with me. So as I said, this is a crop sensor. You get that from the DX. Now I'm going to throw up some video, some you know photography, all that kind of stuff using this lens. Um, so this only work on a crop sensor camera. I used all of this with my Nikon D7000, and I trust this in the professional world. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this lens. Now, it's very, very quick autofocusing. It's very, very quiet, and you can focus up to 0.53 feet. I mean, you can literally be right here. I mean, right here, focusing, and you get something crisp and clear. As I said, I'll show you some stuff I did with a, a lens bracelet. And as I said, it locks on pretty fast focus when you have that minimal distance um, to, well, focus. It's a, got a, a small, it's a, it's a very, very light, lightweight lens. It's, as I said, it's, it's this big. It fits, barely fits on the palm of your hand, actually. The bokeh with this bad baby is pretty good. It's got seven blade diaphragm. It's got nine elements in seven groups. So this gives you nice bokeh. And the cool thing that you get with these, um, you get really, really great blown out areas. In your middle, you can have something crisp and sharp. This is, once again, a very, very clear and sharp lens. I was, As I said, I was blown away by this as I was getting ring shots as I put, put them down on a wooden deck and it looks great blown out and you just, your focus is just there. So it's a very, very sharp lens for the price. Now one of the things I have to warn you about is the 2.8. It is a constant 2.8, don't get me wrong, but it is a little misleading. As you get closer to whatever you're taking the photograph of, the subject, um, you know, the flower, the bee, whatever you're doing, you actually will lose a couple stops. Maybe it'll, instead of being a 2.8, it'll be a 3, a 3.3, a 4. But that's because as the closer you get, you're restricting the amount of light you can let in and the focusing distance. So it is a constant f2.8 lens, but it really isn't. In all reality, um, you do lose a little bit of light as you zoom in. But once again, that's really not an issue. If anything, bump the ISO a little bit. But at that point, the bokeh looks great. You're really, really compressed as it is because you're so tight and you're bringing this thing basically up to, you know, life size. And that's that's a really huge selling point for this lens. And then that anyone can use it. I can literally put this in my pocket and go anywhere with it. Not only is it really easy to use, as you see, it, it does move. It does have um, external parts that will, that will as you zoom, uh, as you zoom in and get closer, you will definitely see this moving, so don't get worried about that because most mi micro and macro lenses do that. Um, it's it's something that I highly recommend. I will give it four eyes, yeah, four eyeballs out of five. And as I said, it's really fast on um, on autofocusing. It's got really good reduced lens flare. Uh, the glass on this is really good, as you see. It's actually kind of small. Um, but that's just because the, with the way the optics are and it comes out as you zoom in. I'd say it's, it's very, it's plasticky, but that's, but that's how these AFSs are. But it's very, very, very silent. I left in the sound for the video. Um, you get great, great, uh, crisp, clear images. There's not much else you can say about it. It is a 52 millimeter, um, filter mount, so you can put a UV filter on it if you want. I don't really recommend those for, uh, something like this. These are very, very easy to keep clean. Um, you know, it's a small... Uh, small back. There is really, uh, there's a semi weather ceiling on this. I'm not going to say it's the greatest, but it'll do the job in a pinch. And this will auto focus on basically any camera because it has the built in focusing motor. And you can tell because of the notches here that will, uh, that 
communicate with your camera as you mount the lens. So if you see this, that means your um, basically any camera, any Nikon camera you have, digital wise, will autofocus this. So as I said, my friend Dan actually got this for under $250, I believe. He bought it refurbished, and uh, once again, I was extremely comfortable using this in a professional setting. I use it on my D7000. I highly, highly recommend it if you're on a budget, if you're on a crop sensored camera, um, because basically you're getting a 60 millimeter view as it is anyway. Um, the only thing I, I don't 100% like about it is you do have to get really, really close to your subject. It's just because, well, that's just the distance. It's only 40 millimeters, so you got to get really close. So if you are trying to do still life with um, with bugs and bees and all ants and everything like that, they might be spooked out as you're getting closer. So that's why people like to use a 60 millimeter, 105 millimeter. Um, but those are majority of uh, full fr uh, full frame lenses. But for something like this, you can get away with it. As I said, with the crop, you're at like 60 millimeters as it is anyway, uh, and it works really, really well. Very affordable, very light, and I think. It's a pretty good sell. Eric Ross, the guy with the eye, I gave you, uh, you know, sample video, I gave you sample um, pictures, photos, and everything like that. As I said, highly recommend it. Four eyes out of five. If you own this lens, let me know your thoughts down below. What, what was the selling point for you? Or if you guys have any questions, please let me know. As I said, I got hands on with this. Um, there's really no need for nothing, you know, huge about this lens. It is what it is, and it's pretty darn sweet.